Salmon is commonly found in incredible restaurants or swimming upstreams. But today, I'm gonna to put these four pans to the test to see which one yields the best results. Ah, fish, there are so many in the sea. From tuna to trout, flounder to halibut, sardines to snapper. But for this experiment, we'll be using one of my favorites, salmon, a rich, beautiful, buttery fish enjoyed around the world. My favorite salmon is a pan-seared salmon. The exterior should have a crispy, golden brown, almost crunchy skin. The layer of fat under the skin should be rendered so that the salmon is not greasy. The interior should be cooked to a medium rare temperature and it should be well seasoned with a healthy dose of kosher salt. Here at Maiden, we have frying pans in four different materials and today I'll be putting them to the test. We've got stainless clad, non-stick, enamel cast iron, and carbon steel. I know each of these materials will yield a great filet of salmon, but for this experiment, we're going to establish a few rules. Each skin on filet will be patted dry and sit at room temperature for 15 minutes before cooking. Each pan will be preheated over the same burner over medium heat until hot. Then I'll season each filet with kosher salt, heat grapeseed oil in the pan, and sear the salmon skin side down for six minutes. Then I'll flip it and time how long it takes to reach an internal temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit, about one to two minutes more. The only variable that may change is time. I'll try each one and give my review, and then I'll cook them all again, bring in a special guest and see if they can match the fish to the pan it was cooked in. First up, stainless clad. It's essential to preheat your stainless clad before adding any protein. Next up, nonstick. To keep the playing field even, we're gonna treat this pan just like the rest. Enameled cast iron. This one's gonna take a little bit longer to preheat. Last but not least, carbon steel. It's been about a minute and a half. I'm gonna do a water bead test. And that tells me that the pan is ready. Oh, it's ready to go. It's hot. I'm gonna test my pan. We've got a pretty good bead going. I'm gonna add my oil and quickly season my fish. Both sides. Skin side down. We're gonna let this cook for six minutes. This pan has the same stainless clad construction as our stainless pan with an extra two layers of nonstick coating that's professional grade. Carbon steel has a similar performance to cast iron, but it's a lot more lightweight. Six minutes. We are ready to cook. This enamel cast iron, really great for searing. And that color is rising up the side. It's time to flip. I'm gonna let this cook for a minute and then I'm gonna check the internal temperature. It's looking pretty good so far. This one's browning really fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. One minute and then check the temperature. Ooh, got a nice crispy skin here. And we're at 120, so I'm gonna pull it. I'm at about 112, so we're almost there. This seems ready to pull. We're at about 105, I'm gonna give it one more minute. Ready to pull. And we are good to go. All right, let's try our stainless clad salmon. So the skin is crispy. I wish it was a little bit more brown in the front here. The bottom has a little bit of browning here, which looks nice. I'm preserving that crispy skin top by serving that skin side up. The flesh looks really evenly cooked. It has that perfect kind of orangey red color that I'm looking for. The flesh is kind of unctuous. It's very tender, very moist, not dry at all but I'm interested to see how these other pans compare. Check this out. I am hearing a crispy skin. 
It is a nice golden brown. Not as much fat has been rendered from the layer between the skin and the flesh. The skin is not as crispy as with the stainless. Let's see how the other pans do. Right away, I'm very excited about these results. Look at this skin. It looks so crispy. The fat looks rendered. It's golden brown from end to end. Golden brown, buttery, flaky crust. Buttery, uh, crispy crust. Flaky! I thought I said flaky. <laughs> Even the salmon here, underneath the skin, looks more seared than we've seen before. And the underside is also nicely golden. Another really nice interior. It has a really crispy crust, <laughs> and the fat is rendered very nicely between the skin and the flesh. Mmm, okay. That is so crisp. It's crunchy almost. It's, it's almost like a chicharron. Really savory. There's absolutely no fat left. Pretty impressed with the carbon steel. The skin looks really crispy. Puffed a little bit, which is kind of cool. Ooh, we have another good one here. The color is gorgeous. You can tell it's flaking apart a little bit. It looks nice and tender. Very tender. I'm surprised how fast this one became perfectly cooked. It's easy to see why restaurants all over the world love to use carbon steel. It gave me a really nice sear. The interior is perfectly cooked, nice and tender. This is a great piece of salmon. All right, you know the drill. It's time to cook for a special guest. I'd like to welcome to the kitchen, Annie from the product team. Hello. Hi, Annie, welcome. Thanks for having me today. Yes. Hey, mom. <laughs> you ready to try some salmon? I am. Okay, so we're gonna try them one by one. Okay. Tell me what you think, pick your favorite, and then try to guess which fish was cooked in which material. Let's go. Number one. The skin is really crispy. It's a little charred over here. Um, it kind of falls apart in your mouth. It's kind of got like a little bit of a buttery texture, which I love about salmon. Which pan do you think I cooked it in? I would say for this one, I want to go with the enameled cast iron. Number two. Let's go. It's not as um, charred and brown on the end. The skin just like peels right off. It's very tender. With the skin not being quite as crispy as that one, I'm gonna go with the stainless. Okay. Number three. This one, the skin isn't necessarily as um, crispy. It's still browned a little bit on top, but it doesn't have that like crunchiness when you put the fork on top. Really flaky. And that one, I got a little bit of the, um, the skin. Um, but since the skin isn't as browned on this one, I'm gonna go with the, the non-stick. This one's kind of similar to the um, one that I think is the um, enameled cast iron, just because of the like, really crispy texture of the top of the skin on the top, but really tender. I did get a little bit of the skin this time as well, and I like that kind of crunch that it gives it. And for this one, I'm gonna go with the carbon steel. Which one did you like the best? 
I think I'm gonna stick with my allegiance to carbon steel and pick that one just because I really like the crispy skin on the top. It was a little charred, but not overly. Feel good about your decision here? Final answer? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna stick with my gut. Based on your confidence level, we're gonna start with this one. Correct. Nailed it. You said enamel cast iron. This one was carbon. Oh, but the crusts were similar on yes, it. Yes, very similar. So I think that one. This one was. Ah, I got them mixed up. That leaves are stainless. Two out of four. Not bad. You're right, these perform very similarly. I think this would be great for like thinner, more delicate fishes too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Annie, for visiting yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, so awesome to be in yes. here. Come back soon. Yeah. Really interesting that Annie picked what she thought was the carbon steel for her favorite, but it was actually the enamel cast iron. Nonstick did a great job. It definitely hung in there with the rest of the team. It had great results. It maybe didn't get the skin quite as crispy, but this is a great choice for a quick weeknight meal. The stainless clad, total workhorse, never fail. Did a great job too. And carbon steel, I think carbon steel and enamel cast iron were neck and neck. These two pans have really similar properties and they got really similar results. But in the end, when I'm picking the perfect pan for the best pan seared fish, I'm gonna go enamel cast iron. It just gave that skin the best texture of all of the pans. I think just that heat retention gave it such a great sear. But honestly, if you follow this method for cooking salmon, you're gonna get a good result no matter what material you use. They're all great choices. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Let me know in the comments what you want me to test next time. I'd love to hear from you. This is Rhoda Boone for Made In, and I'll see you next time.